It's Monday, and what a doozy it was. The S&P 500 hit all-time highs. We have news from Amazon, the crypto world with Bitcoin going absolutely crazy, and also Tesla earnings, big, big earnings this week. But Tesla just reported earnings, so we're going to talk about all of that in this episode of After the Bell. So stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tip Ranks YouTube channel. I am Richard Allen. Thank you so much for joining me for a video today. This is your first episode of After the Bell. The Power Hour update is no more. And I thought this would be a good move because this I can give you all the news from the day, but some of the top gainers and losers after hours as well. And that'll give you more prepared for tomorrow's trading. So let's jump over to tipranks.com. First, I want to cover the S&P 500 reaching all-time highs today, and it is on the backs of mega cap tech earnings this week. Tesla reported today. We have big tech giants Apple, Alphabet, Microsoft all reporting tomorrow. We have Facebook and Amazon reporting later next this week on Thursday, uh, followed by what over 500 other companies. Julie and I talked about it a little bit on our Friday weekly recap show. Uh, Sam and I are actually doing that show, uh, My Financial Friend, this week on Friday. So stay tuned for that. That'll be really, really fun. But big, big earnings week. Speaking of Amazon reporting on Thursday, they uh, posted a crypto job and Bitcoin surged 14% at one point, hitting almost 40,000 per coin for the first time in a while. Amazon listed a job opening for a digital currency and blockchain product lead, sending cryptocurrencies soaring. So BTC hit over 39,000, Ethereum reached over 2,300. Uh, Dogecoin was trading above 22 cents, giving uh, uh, briefly a market cap of almost 30 billion dollars for Dogecoin again. Um, but Bitcoin started to fall a little bit because Amazon came out and said, look, we are not getting into crypto. We will not be accepting crypto as payment and we are not making a crypto coin in 2022. So people like speculation ran absolutely rampant today on what Amazon was planning on doing in the crypto realm. And you can see, I'm gonna go back here to tipranks.com. BTC is now trading under 38,000 per coin, but still up 8% in the last 24 hours. So big, big movement for BTC. And because of that, some of the top gainers today were companies like BTBT up almost 100% today. We had EBON up like 17%. We had Riot and Mara up both over 20%. We have MicroStrategy up over 20% today. So a lot of these companies that are tied to Bitcoin, either directly with like Bitcoin miners like Mara, BTBT, and Riot, or MicroStrategy, MicroStrategy having the strategy of having Bitcoin on their balance sheet instead of cash. This, this was all major, major factor in these companies moving even more than Bitcoin was. So the disparities there is, is crazy, but when Bitcoin moves, these companies move as well. Another company that has Bitcoin on their balance sheet is Tesla, and they reported a tenfold increase in net income in this quarter versus quarter two last year. So it was a big, big increase in Tesla's net income of $1 billion this quarter in net income. Crazy, crazy. That's the first time they've been able to do that. Um, and speaking of Bitcoin, the company reported a $23 million impairment related to their Bitcoin holdings. That means they, they've lost essentially 20 some million dollars. But the way that works with, with businesses like Tesla, MicroStrategy, and others that hold Bitcoin on their balance sheet, I'm pretty sure they're able to write that off as a loss. But then when Bitcoin goes back up, it, uh, they, they get those gains. So it, it's a crazy sort of weird, weird way uh, for uh, companies like Tesla and MicroStrategy to take advantage of both the gains and the losses um, holding Bitcoin. Um, so, but earnings came in at one forty-five, a dollar forty-five uh, versus ninety-eight cents that were expected, recorded uh, according to Refinitiv. Uh, revenue came in at almost twelve billion dollars, which is crazy. The expectation there was eleven point three. 
Um, the company reported $1.14 billion in gap net income for the quarter, the first time it's ever surpassed $1 billion. Overall, automotive revenues came in at $10.21 billion, of which only $354 million came from sales of regulatory credits and that has been a big sticking point for a lot of people and uh, a lot of investors rather and uh, Tesla bears saying look Tesla's not actually making any money they're they're only making money because they're selling these credits these EV credits back to other companies um, and that is just at this point it's nonsense they've had six uh, seven now consecutive quarters of profitability um, and I think it's just it's just going to continue for Tesla. I'm really, really excited uh, for Tesla. Now, another thing that happened as well is gross margins came in over 28%, which is higher than any of the last four quarters. So that's a big, big deal as well. They also uh, reported deliveries of 201,250 electric, electric vehicles and production of 206, 421 total vehicles during the quarter ending June 30th, 2021. During the quarter, among challenges, Tesla faced a backlash from consumers in China, recalls in China and the U.S., and delayed deliveries of the high performance of the flagship sedan, the Model S Plaid. Now, the Model S Plaid, it looks really, really nice. I'm not quite sure about the whole yoke steering wheel thing. Let me know what you guys think about Tesla um, and the Model S Plaid, and they're they're switching the whole the whole friggin' steering wheel up. Totally, totally strange. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited for Tesla in the future. I'm a Tesla shareholder. A lot of you guys know that. Um, and I'm, I'm excited to hang on to Tesla for years and years down the road. Now, we will probably have some new analyst ratings and expectations coming in for Tesla over the next couple days. Uh, ticker symbol TSLA comes in with a moderate buy based on 14 analyst ratings with an average upside of over 25% now, which is really, really cool. Um, Tesla was up over 2% today and then an additional about 1.5% uh, um, in after hours so far. Um, the, the high rating for Tesla is $1,200 now price point. Um, and the low is, isn't is $67 anymore. It's $180. It's a little bit more reasonable. Still kind of crazy. But um, you can see that the last, uh, last rating came in uh, four days ago here for Tesla. But expect some more um, of some more ratings and um, analyst reviews as we have some time to digest the investor deck and different uh, forward-looking guidance and things like that for Tesla. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for the first of many episodes of After the Bell. We'll do this every Monday through Friday uh, at around 5, 5.30 or so uh, Central Standard Time, uh, sometimes as late as 6, depending on the news and how crazy the market is. Um, but I definitely wanted to report to you uh, Tesla's earnings and then the craziness about Amazon and crypto. It was really, really crazy. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.